An offer is an essential element of contract formation. But when the party's contract negotiations drag on for months, how does a court determine what communication constitutes an offer? We explore that question in Babcock & Wilcox Company v. Hitachi America Limited. Babcock & Wilcox, or BW, designed and installed a Selective Catalytic Reduction System, or SCR system, in a coal-fired electrical plant. A critical component of the system was the catalyst that converted nitrogen oxide into nitrogen and water. BW subcontracted with Hitachi America to supply the catalyst. The parties began their negotiations in June of 1999. Between July and November, Hitachi sent multiple proposals to BW. On December 9, Hitachi sent BW a detailed proposal that included a price quotation. Among other things, the December proposal specified a purchase date, a delivery date, and payment terms. It also proposed edits or additions to terms and conditions that were previously proposed by BW. The December proposal closed by inviting BW to contact Hitachi if it had any questions or comments. BW and Hitachi then continued to negotiate various terms of their agreement, including the price term, for several more months. The parties finally reached an agreement on price in May of 2000. On June 15, BW sent Hitachi a detailed purchase order. The purchase order stated that it was an offer. Hitachi could accept the offer by acknowledging receipt or by shipping the catalyst. Hitachi didn't acknowledge receipt. It did, however, ship the catalyst. BW later had trouble with the SCR system. BW claimed that the catalyst was either defective or that Hitachi hadn't supplied enough of it. Hitachi refused to provide additional catalyst. BW filed suit in federal district court for breach of contract and breach of warranty. The parties agreed that Hitachi contracted to provide BW with catalyst. The parties disagreed, however, as to the scope and terms of their agreement. They cross-moved for partial summary judgment and asked the court to determine the terms of their contract.